Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to show what I've got set up here in my uh, truck. I've got a 2006 F250 6.0 diesel. And I don't know, if you have a, uh, a diesel pickup truck, you may have heard that the 6.0s have a little bit of problems. And uh, basically I've got it uh, semi-bulletproofed. I've taken it to a man out in Atlanta, Georgia. And he went ahead and got everything squared away for me. Uh, but this here is a gauge that I've got. And it just plugs into the uh, port underneath the uh, steering wheel. And it basically monitors my, uh, my motor. And the one that I'm really concerned about is right here. This gauge right here. That's my EGTs, which stands for Engine gas temperature and with that you don't want to run or push a diesel up a hill or you don't want that to get above 1200 degrees actually 1300 is when you can actually do some damage if you if you push it too hard I've got an alarm set right here so that if I get to 1200 EGTs this this will turn red and uh, so I want to let you know that if, if you've got a diesel motor, it is very important for you to have a way of monitoring your engine. And with a lot of vehicles nowadays, they're all pretty much built in where you can keep an eye on everything. But for those of you that have an older type uh, diesel motor, I would suggest looking online and seeing uh, what you can come up with as far as some type of way of monitoring what's going on with your engine. If you notice on the top right, I've got the engine oil temperature, I've got the coolant temperature, and the trans temperature, and I also monitor the uh, FICM, and with that guy, you don't want it to get below 4750. Uh, but there are different, different alarms that come on if temperatures get too warm in here, and uh, I think it's a very important uh, tool for you to have uh, if you're going to be hauling. Now, when we were in Colorado, there was only a couple times that uh, I got it to 1,200 EGTs. When I seen that, I just backed it off. So it doesn't matter how fast I'm going with the speed. And uh, I think I might have been only going maybe 40, 45 miles an hour uh, going up a pretty steep grade. But you want to keep an eye on your EGTs, guys. It's important. It's the silent killer of a diesel motor so what I've got is the live wire TS uh, it's not it's not cheap I think I paid around five hundred dollars for this thing and I've also got it tuned up uh, where it's uh, tuned and uh, it's given me pretty good fuel economy uh, when I took it from Alabama to Indiana I got 23 miles to the gallon uh, that's pretty good uh, of course I was not towing now when I'm towing I get somewhere in the neighborhood 15, 16 miles, depending on terrain. It, it varies uh, based on where you're at. So, But anyway, I hope that helps someone out there. Uh, if you don't have a way of monitoring your, uh, your motor, uh, I, I highly recommend looking into some type of monitoring system so you can keep an eye on what's going on with your motor. I hope everyone has a great day. Talk to you later.